morning, Keto Marnie here. It is Thursday morning and I'm going crazy. <laughs> so I don't know where my bacon is. <laughs> I've looked all over this refrigerator. I had I had a, a, a Ziploc baggie full of bacon and I have no idea where it is. I've looked in my refrigerator downstairs. I've looked up here. And being as I can't find it in either refrigerator, I fear finding it in a non-refrigerated place. <laughs> so I have no idea where it is. Gosh darn it. <laughs> and I wanted bacon this morning. I mean, I have the bacon crumbles from Costco, but you know, that's kind of not the same. So uh, I have no idea where my bacon is. Uh, anyway, it is... 815 uh, so I stopped eating I'm gonna say 330 usually um, I'm done eating around 315 320 uh, so that was my last meal yesterday um, so I'm kind of hungry this morning but I've been like doing stuff to just kind of try and hold off and hold out to hit the uh, 18 hour mark uh, I mean I'm not going to feel bad if I go ahead and eat now, which I'm not because I don't have my bacon. i got to figure out what else I'm going to eat now. <laughs> but, uh, um, so if, if I, you know, eat here in a few minutes, I'll still be at 17 hours and I'll, I'll be good with that. Uh, for the life of me, I have no idea where my bacon is. <laughs> um... So one of the things that really helps me a lot with the intermittent fasting, well, I mean, I, I feel so much better when I do the intermittent fasting. When I would do it before, I was successful, and it made me feel better, and something would always trigger me to get off of it. So I'm, I'm back into it, feeling better already. But a couple of things to help. One, not being able to go anywhere. I don't drive well in the snow um, so that keeps me from going to the store and buying snacky things uh, and also not to not to be gross but at night when I take my teeth out that helps because I cannot eat stuff like that like pork rinds with my gums I'm not my dad my dad <laughs> He eats potato chips and pork rinds and peanuts and whatever else. He eats them without his teeth. And I can't do that because it just makes my gums raw and hurt and bleed. And, and so that deters me from snacking on things that I shouldn't. And it is nothing, absolutely nothing, for me to sit and eat an entire bag of pork rinds and want to open another bag. Uh, especially if I'm uh, using butter on them. I got that idea from uh, Christy at Cooking Keto with Christy years ago. She uh, she dips her pork rinds in butter. And I love that too, but if I'm just sitting downstairs watching videos and I have it in front of me, I will eat a lot of I'll eat the whole bag and, you know, there's a gazillion and one calories right there. Um, the same with uh, salsa and guacamole. I like mixing the two and with sour cream and you know put that all on the pork rinds and I will eat the entire bag and pretty much most of the container of guacamole and salsa so having my teeth out at night keeps me from doing that and I have a hard time eating salsa without my teeth because I can't eat the tomato skins or whatever you know <laughs> uh, so I'm doing really good with my intermittent fasting uh, I'm going to try and hold off for another hour. Um, I do plan on making some truffles today. Uh, I'm going to clean my, my waffle maker because it's disgusting. Uh, and look for my bacon. <laughs> I just have no idea where my bacon is. So anyway, uh, I will check back in a little bit when I finally do eat something. So it's about 8.20 right now. Uh, going on 820 and I'm going to still try to hold out for another hour so 
I will check back in later. All right, now that I know I am not crazy, I found my bacon <laughs> hiding behind something in the refrigerator downstairs. Uh, I've got bacon on a tray uh, on my in my uh, my broiler tray, broiler pan in the oven now. Um, it's not practical for me to use the air fryer for the bacon because there's just not enough surface space. Uh, so I'm going to do chaffles today, but I wanted to do like a take on, uh, I watched the Keto Twins. Uh, they did a onion ring chaffle, so I kind of want to do that. Uh, so I got a little bit of the chopped onions down. I, I cut the recipe or cut the um, serving size of the onions in half just to reduce the carbs. The serving size is two thirds cup. I got one third cup in there, and I'm going to use those for my chaffles today along with onion powder. Um, but the Keto Twins, I really really like them a lot. So go check out their channel. I will leave a link to their uh, channel below. So I'm going to, uh, Ducky from NCIS, sorry, I'm watching Perry Mason. <laughs> um, so that's going to be it for now. I've got my coffee here, and uh, while I was downstairs, I had a Celestial Seasonings uh, Black Energy Tea, and yeah, I love that stuff. Oh my gosh, I love it. All right, so that's it. I'll check back in a little bit. I am sauteing the onions in a little bit of this ghee. My bacon is in there. I keep that top on it just to uh, cut down on the splatter in the oven. I've been using this broiler pan for years and that's one of the things I love about it. Sneak peek, there's the bacon. I just added some, uh, just a touch of minced garlic to this, and oh my gosh, it smells so good. Here are my onion and garlic chaffles. So what I did was I put probably an eighth to a quarter of a cup of cheese on the waffle maker, and then I put down half of the caramelized onions and garlic and then sprinkled them with onion powder, garlic powder, and bagel seasoning. And then put more cheese on top of that, probably about the same amount, uh, about an eighth of a cup to a quarter of a cup. And this is what I got. And the reason why I've got this over the sink is because, you know, the cheese is fatty and, and so it was really really dripping a lot so I wanted to make sure I didn't get uh, cheese grease all over the counter okay I am breaking my 18 hour fast with two eggs the two onion and garlic truffles bacon coffee yes that's still Santa Claus <laughs> and I like to use both salts pink and kosher on my eggs and then some black pepper that is breakfast okay so I wanted a sweet thing for lunch so I decided to make some sweet chaffles um, I mixed my dry ingredients first and the way I did that let's see uh, let's see for my dry ingredients I'm, and I'm counting the cheese as a dry ingredient um, half a cup of shredded cheese a neutral flavored cheese I'm trying to use up the uh, Chihuahua cheese. I'm, I'm going to try not to buy that anymore since it's got, you know, uh, flowers or uh, starches on it, rather like potato starch and stuff like that to keep it from sticking together. I'm trying to do shredding my own cheese, so I'm just trying to get this used up. I don't want to waste it. Anyway, a half a cup of shredded cheese, uh, a quarter teaspoon of xanthan gum, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, three tablespoons of egg whites, 
20 drops of the uh, one on one snickerdoodle flavor and then 14 drops of stevia. So I, I mixed all of my dry ingredients first so that the xanthan gum would get you know incorporated in there really good. Um, and then I just put it on the uh, waffle maker for about four minutes and um, I already took a bite so. <laughs> so these are really good, yum. And they would probably be better, you know, with like a, a syrup on them or something, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> They're good just the way they are. I really, really like them a lot. So that's for my sweet chaffle. And that's it for now. I will show you my dinner when it comes, to, you know, after I make it. So uh, I'm not going to eat until 3 o'clock. But uh, yeah, that's it for now. Uh, I will check back in a little bit. All right, I'm still feeling snacky, and I guess I better turn this down. Bye, Steve. <laughs> um, so I'm I'm still feeling a little snacky after the sweet chaffles. So I am gonna go ahead and have something, uh, but I'm cutting the recipe down to a quarter, and I'm going to find out if it will chaffle. <laughs> so I've got the uh, the batter or the dough made up. Um, I'm going to try chaffling the keto fries. Uh, they're not going to be in strips. It'll be more like a waffle fry if it turns out okay, if it turns out good. So the original recipe by Heavenly Fan, uh, when she used the coconut flour, uses 50 grams of coconut flour, three teaspoons of xanthan gum and eight to nine tablespoons of hot water and then uh, I like to cut the recipe in half because if I make the whole recipe I will eat the whole recipe but today I'm actually cutting it down to a fourth and because my scale this is this is my scale doesn't uh, go in 0.5 increments I just round it up to uh, 13 grams of the coconut flour, uh, three quarters of a teaspoon of xanthan gum, and about three tablespoons of water. And then I also used 10 drops of mashed potato flavor. So I am getting ready to put it on the uh, chaffle maker. And for my cheese, I'm going to use uh, shredded parm. So I will let you know how it turns out. All right, will the keto fries chaffle? Yes, they will. And they taste just like the keto fries that you fry in, in the pan in the oil. I did make sure to uh, spray the waffle maker uh, because I didn't know if this would stick or not, but yeah. Tastes like french fries, and I've got my uh, my homemade sugar-free ketchup here, and I put uh, shredded Parmesan down before I put the mixture down. I, I cut it in half to get uh, two of these, and I love it. And to me, this is way less messy than getting the pan out and waiting for the oil to heat up and I don't like to waste my oil like that too so this is good and then I put salt on it right after it came off so yeah these are good and yes they do chaffle okay here is my dinner it is just the uh, portofino yellowfin tuna with some avocado lemon juice and my seasoning that's going to do it for dinner Okay, I am closing this day out since I already showed you my dinner. Uh, I've still got uh, two and a half hours left before I have dinner, but I am tired already and I'm kind of getting a little bit of a headache. Uh, so I'm going to sit here and relax until my dad comes home and then go upstairs for a few minutes. Then I'm going to come back downstairs and relax for another hour and a half before dinner. Uh, so. I guess that's it. I don't have much else to talk about. 
I had fun experimenting with truffle recipes today. Um, so I guess that's it. I'm probably going to do uh, some batch cooking tomorrow. Not a whole lot, just for the weekend. Uh, got a couple packages left of the blueberry sausage. Um, I'm out of a lot of stuff because I haven't gone anywhere because of the snow. I'm not going to go anywhere tomorrow. Uh, so... I've got a box of the sausage, the breakfast sausage, uh, Bob Evans breakfast sausage from Gordon. I don't know if I'm going to cook any of that. I don't think, if I do cook it, I don't think I'm going to do the whole box this time. Because I'm just going to throw a few in the air fryer. Uh, doing them one after the other, uh, I could fit four of them in my air fryer. Four or five. And if you don't clean it out after a couple of sessions then it starts to smoke uh and i really don't need to cook all that many at one time just for the for the weekend so anyway i might do that i don't know yet but i'm gonna go ahead and go for now and i hope everyone has a great night if you could give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i would really appreciate that and i will see you tomorrow